Have you ever wondered about the fate of the plastic you discard every day? From the single-use plastic bags, water bottles, to the inconspicuous plastic wrappings, they all contribute to a global dilemma of epic proportions. Each year, millions of tons of plastic find their way into our oceans, suffocating marine life and corrupting delicate ecosystems. On land, terrestrial habitats are not spared either. Plastic waste clogs our waterways, contaminates our soil, and even infiltrates the air we breathe as microscopic particles. The scale of this problem is staggering, with alarming statistics that are hard to ignore. Each minute, the equivalent of a garbage truck full of plastic is dumped into our oceans. Every year, an estimated 1 million seabirds and 100,000 marine mammals perish due to plastic pollution. This is not a distant issue, it's happening right now. This is our plastic emergency, a crisis hiding in plain sight. Enter Dr. Elena Ramirez, a beacon of hope in our plastic-encased world. A dedicated scientist, Dr. Ramirez's life work took a revolutionary turn when she stumbled upon a peculiar breed of microorganisms. These tiny, invisible warriors have a unique talent, they can degrade plastic. Yes, you heard it right, they feed on the very material that's been choking our planet. Imagine a world where plastic waste is not a liability, but a feast for these microscopic heroes. This breakthrough discovery ignited a flame of hope, illuminating a path towards change. The potential of these microorganisms to combat the plastic problem is immense. They could be our secret weapon, silently working to restore the balance of our ecosystems. Dr. Ramirez's discovery, though still in its infancy, marks a significant milestone in the fight against plastic pollution. But as with any change, resistance was inevitable. The plastics industry wasn't ready to back down without a fight. Like a cornered animal, it deployed all its resources to maintain the status quo. Legal challenges started sprouting like mushrooms after a rainstorm, each one attempting to undermine Dr. Ramirez's groundbreaking discovery. The industry's lawyers questioned the safety and viability of the biodegrading microorganisms, creating a fog of doubt and uncertainty that threatened to stall progress. But it wasn't just the courtroom where the battles were fought. The plastics industry also launched a massive public relations campaign, trying to paint a picture of a world still dependent on traditional plastics. Fear was their weapon of choice, as they peddled the idea that change would bring about economic collapse and job losses. It was a classic David versus Goliath situation, the lone scientist and her tiny microorganisms against the colossal entrenched industry. Yet despite the resistance, the march towards a solution continued. The world was about to witness a biological revolution. As the discovery of Dr. Ramirez's plastic-degrading microorganisms started making waves in scientific circles, it was time to introduce these tiny life forms to the world. Imagine the planet as a chessboard, and each microorganism, a pawn, strategically placed to initiate a grand cleanup. This was no small feat. The global deployment of these microorganisms was a meticulously coordinated endeavor. Every step was thoughtfully planned, from selecting the deployment locations to determining the optimal concentration of microorganisms. But it wasn't just about throwing these life forms into the environment and hoping for the best. Safety was paramount. Rigorous protocols were put in place to ensure that these microorganisms would not upset the existing ecological balance. Precautions were taken to prevent any unintended consequences, and continuous monitoring was implemented for real-time adjustments. The stage was set, the pieces were moving, the biological revolution was in motion. But were there unexpected side effects? Every solution can have its complications. With the global deployment of plastic-degrading microorganisms, the scientific community was on high alert for any side effects. Early signs began cropping up. Unexpected reactions in certain ecosystems, unanticipated interactions with other organisms, and a few other minor hiccups. But science, as ever, was prepared for this. Researchers across the globe rallied together, wielding their collective knowledge and expertise to tackle the emerging challenges. They scrutinized every side effect, dissected every reaction, and meticulously documented their findings. Their goal? To understand these new dynamics and make necessary adjustments. Efforts were quickly made to mitigate any negative impacts. Adjustments in the deployment strategies tweaks in the microorganisms themselves, even revisions to safety protocols. It was a global dance of adaptation, guided by the rhythm of scientific discovery. This swift and coordinated response demonstrated the resilience and adaptability of the scientific community. 
the side effects were not a stumbling block, but stepping stones on the path to progress. Meanwhile, an industrial transformation was underway. Industries began to adapt, evolve, and transform. It was not a smooth ride though, the journey was filled with economic challenges and obstacles. As factories and corporations transitioned towards greener alternatives, they faced steep costs and significant technological hurdles. Yet, despite these obstacles, a shift was palpable. Industries started to embrace the era of sustainable innovation, spurred by public demand and scientific breakthroughs. Companies that once thrived on plastic started to reimagine their production lines, integrating biodegradable materials and eco-friendly processes. Success stories began to sprout, like resilient green shoots after a long winter. We saw businesses that had been synonymous with plastic waste, now leading the charge towards a sustainable future. They became beacons of change, their transformation inspiring others to follow suit. The industrial landscape was changing, and with it, the very fabric of our society. This was more than just a shift in materials or methods, it was a profound transformation in our collective consciousness. As industries changed, so did the world's consciousness. A wave of environmental awareness was sweeping across the globe. As the reality of the plastic crisis bore down upon us, individuals and communities alike began to take notice. This wasn't a distant problem anymore, not an abstract threat, but a tangible crisis that required immediate attention. Activists took to the streets, their voices echoing throughout city squares demanding change. Community leaders once silent began to advocate for sustainable practices, transforming neighborhoods into green havens. Experts in various fields dedicated their knowledge and skills to the cause, scientists, economists, educators, all coming together to fight this global menace. Their combined efforts sparked a cultural shift, a new understanding of our relationship with the environment. It wasn't just about plastics anymore, it was about climate change, about biodiversity, about the very future of our planet, and the world was listening, the world was changing. Our oceans were beginning to show signs of recovery. A renaissance was happening beneath the waves. Once choked by a relentless onslaught of plastic, our oceans were beginning to breathe again. The deployment of microorganisms had ignited a revival, a rebirth of marine life, unseen in modern history. Marine scientists were at the forefront of this oceanic resurgence, their testimonies a testament to the resilience of nature. They spoke of coral reefs, once bleached and lifeless, now bursting with vibrant hues and teeming with life. They described the return of species thought to be on the brink of extinction, their populations rebounding in these newly cleansed waters. They marveled at the resurgence of biodiversity, a reaffirmation of life's tenacity. The ocean was not just surviving, it was thriving, pulsating with life and vitality once more. This was the ocean renaissance, a testament to the power of science, innovation, and our collective will to rectify our past mistakes. But society still had to face its own challenges. Change is never easy, especially when it challenges our habits. Yet, it's this challenge that society is rising to meet head-on, in the battle against excessive plastic consumption. This cultural shift didn't happen overnight, it's a movement cultivated by community initiatives, spurred by education, and fueled by a collective desire to protect our planet. Take a walk down any city street and you'll see it, the subtle changes in consumer behavior. Reusable shopping bags, refillable water bottles, and local stores offering bulk buying to reduce packaging waste. These small yet significant lifestyle adjustments are a testament to the power of collective action. In a world where convenience is king, it's heartening to see people prioritizing sustainability over ease. It's a testament to the human spirit, our ability to adapt, to change, to rise to the occasion when the stakes are high. But the journey is far from over. And as the final resistance mounted, ethical dilemmas arose. Dr. Ramirez and her team were about to face their biggest challenge yet. The weight of their responsibility was heavy, they stood at the precipice of a new world, a world that could potentially be free of the plastic plague. Yet, the final resistance from the plastic industry was unyielding. The ethical dilemmas were mounting. On one hand, they held a solution that could reverse the tide of plastic pollution. On the other, they faced an industry entrenched in the global economy, an industry that employed millions and impacted billions. Could they push forward, knowing the disruption their solution could cause? Could they hold back, knowing the environmental catastrophe that continued plastic pollution would bring? 
The decisions they had to make were layered with complexity, each choice a minefield of potential consequences. Yet, they knew they had to press on. Despite the hurdles, there was much to celebrate and reflect upon. It was a time to celebrate victories and learn from the journey. The triumphs were many, bold, and bright. The world had witnessed a remarkable turnaround, from the brink of a plastic apocalypse to a beacon of hope. The deployment of biodegrading microorganisms had been a game changer, sparking a wave of environmental restoration. Stories of success were not just confined to laboratories or corporate boardrooms. They were etched in the hearts of individuals who had been part of this transformative journey. The fishermen who saw the return of marine life in previously plastic-choked waters, the community leader who spearheaded local recycling initiatives, the scientist whose relentless pursuit of answers brought about a paradigm shift in waste management. Each of these stories, testimonials of change, painted a vivid picture of resilience and ingenuity. They served as reminders that the power to affect change rested with us all. We had come a long way, but the journey towards a sustainable future was just beginning. The future is not a destination, but a path we must carefully tread. As we stand on the precipice of this new world, we see a landscape transformed by our collective efforts. The deployment of plastic-eating microorganisms, the shift towards sustainable alternatives in industries, and the burgeoning global environmental awareness, these are all milestones we've reached together. Yet, the journey doesn't end here. Our actions today will echo into the annals of tomorrow. The plastic crisis taught us that it's not enough to respond to emergencies, but to anticipate them, to prevent rather than cure. The lessons we've learned are not exclusive to plastic. They apply to every global issue we face, from climate change to biodiversity loss. This experience has shown us the power of science, the importance of unity, and the indomitable spirit of humanity. As we move forward, let's carry these lessons with us. Together, we can shape a future where sustainability isn't an option but a way of life.